Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. It's Monday, March 15th, the fourth week of Lent. I am Mary Beth Dumas. As always, I'm so happy to be with you to share prayer today. Our readings today are taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah and the Gospel of John. Let us now begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years. And he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our responsorial psalm for today. I will praise you, Lord for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime, his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O oh Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O oh Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O oh Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. 
Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, the fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We'll take a few moments now in reflection of our readings today and allow our hearts to be open to the message we receive. And let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer for our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for an end to the pandemic, that God will guide and inspire all who work to end the virus and give our leaders the wisdom to make the right decisions. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who are in any way burdened in these difficult times, that the sick, the unemployed, the lonely, and the frontline and essential workers will continue to find peace and comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers, we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your son and the road to redemption paved by his sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Go in peace and have a peaceful day. I will see you back next Monday for prayer.